Welcome back to my channel. My name is Sonali, if you guys don't already know me. Today I'm going to be doing a get ready with me for my formal slash prom because this makeup look is perfect for prom too. And I'm so excited because it actually turned out really well. I was in such a rush. As you can see, I'm talking really fast because I literally don't have time to like make this intro and outro. But I hope you guys really enjoy this. Don't forget to check out my blog post. I will have a link to that in the description below. It will have direct links to all the products I have mentioned today and some of the products that I didn't show on camera like my lashes so let's get on to the video hey guys so I'm a little bit stressed right now because I literally have less than an hour to get ready for formal I'm like I don't know why I got myself into this mess I was supposed to wake up really early and go to breakfast with Brian and then get ready for like three hours no but now I have like an hour so god bless let me go get my mirror and we can get started Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is cover up all my blemishes. Because of course, this week I was gifted a present from Mother Nature and I broke out a little bit. So I'm going to be using my Makeup Forever concealer. It's in the color 14 and it is kind of dark, but yellow. I feel like I'm gonna be doing the five minute makeup challenge for my formal, which is, is great, it's great. <laughs> Sorry, I just forgot that my microphone wasn't on my camera. Oh my god, I am like all over the place. Now I'm going to be using my Makeup Forever HD stick and I recently actually went back to this. I was using um, the L'Oreal Invaluable Matte Foundation and I really liked it but sometimes at the end of the day, a whole part of like my foundation would just come off so it was like kind of splotchy on me, I don't know why. But I really think that this color is the perfect match for me first of all and it's so fast and easy to put on. I really recommend using this Sephora brush. It is the Pro Flawless Airbrush and it just like goes on so smoothly. So I feel like I'll always try like other foundations out just because I want like something new but I'll probably always go back to this Make It Forever HD stick. Unlike liquid foundation, it doesn't feel super heavy on your skin, and I've always hated when foundations felt like that, so I think this is really just like the perfect foundation for me. And by the way, I am in the color 173Y445. I'm getting ready to move out because I'm going home for the summer, and I'm moving into my sorority house next year. and. I just took down like all of my lights because they were like all burnt out anyways and I took down the picture frame so I hung up like this like satin fabric I just bought from like Hobby Lobby and it kind of looks like cute I'm like why did I not do this from the start <clears throat> I'm gonna put a second layer of the foundation stick on my face because I just want to make sure everything's gonna stay and I'm covering up all my blemishes. Like I said, I had a lot this week, which is not fun to deal with. Ryan is getting a haircut right now, which is so nice because when I'm filming, my room is a disaster and there's like nowhere to walk because my room is super small. So all my studio lights take up like the floor space. There's no room to walk. So I feel like if he was here, it'd be like just so much more stress. <laughs> I'm kind of sad though, because I ordered the Tarte Shape Tape and I wanted to use it in this tutorial, but it's literally getting delivered today. And I'm pretty sure it wasn't even like delivered yet. I think it's getting delivered like at night. Today I'm gonna be taking my Max Pro Longwear Concealer in the color NW35. I'm putting that right underneath my eyes. And this concealer is very full coverage, which is perfect for a prom or formal look that you wanna like look super super glam and have it on all night long. I'm also going to put some of that on the bridge of my nose and my chin and then dab a little bit on your eyelids and we'll set that for a nice primed base for the eyeshadow. I literally look like a potato like this looks so weird. Sometimes I do like to go back in with a beauty blender and kind of like just pat it all over my face because sometimes, sometimes the brush leaves me a little bit streaky but not all the time so just in case we can set our face and then we're going to move on to eyes. 
Oh my god, I actually like hate myself. I literally forgot to put on primer. So my face is getting set times 100 with setting powder and setting spray. Oh my god, I'm dumb. So since I did forget to do primer, I would have gone in with this one. I just wanted to show you guys because primer is very important. I'm just dumb and stressed and I'm rushing, so I kind of forgot that part. But this is the Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer. It is oil-free and it's pore minimizing, which is perfect for me. And it's the little purple one. And this is a sample size and I'm pretty sure you can get it um like this in like Ulta or Sephora probably and it's probably a lot cheaper than full size product and it's lasting me a pretty long time so I do recommend. For setting powder I'm going to be using my Dermablend translucent powder. I am going to be baking today so I'm going to do it right under my eyes. You don't need like a whole lot of excess powder just to bake. I mean this looks like excess but like a lot of people like pack it on and it's like falling off their face. There's not really a need to do that unless you want to look like crazy and cool. Then I'm just gonna put a little right under where my contour would be just to carve out that line. Put some on my chin, down my nose, and on my forehead because that gets oily real fast. While it's setting, I'm going to be doing my eyebrows. I'm going to be using the Dip Brow Pomade by Anastasia Beverly Hills in the color Dark Brown. So I'm going to zoom you guys up real quick and we'll get started on that. The first step is to wipe off any foundation that you have on your eyebrows. Next, just wait for them to dry off and then you can start to spoolie them and I like to go up and kind of bring it out. So I always start on the arch and just kind of draw like an outline of that. Then I take it to my tail. And you can always come back and fix it up later. It's kind of like a rough sketch at the beginning. So then go under the arch and just curve that in. Then come to the middle and start making tiny hair strokes to fill in all the sparse areas and then up front as well. Then we can come under and start to line that. And then again, go in and fill in the sparse areas. So now we are gonna start on the eyeshadow and I'm gonna be using some Makeup Geek eyeshadows first. We're going to take creme brulee and place that all over the lid, kind of setting the whole lid. But first to clean off my brushes, I'm going to be using my Veramona color changing little sponge here. And I'm just going to swirl it around and it takes the color off the brush almost instantly and it's really cool. So like I said, I'm taking creme brulee and placing that all over the eyelid and setting it. Then I'm taking the color latte and again putting this all over my lid. This is also a transitional color, but it's just a tad bit darker. It's gonna start to add some color. I'm gonna go in with Cocoa Bear and do the same thing. This is more of like a reddish brown color. Then I'm gonna go back in with Creme Brulee and blend that near the brow bone. I'm also going to take Cocoa Bear and brush that against the lower lash line. Next, I'm going to be setting this as my lid base. This is a Super Shock Shadow from ColourPop in the color Mooning. So I'm just going to be taking that with my finger and placing that on my lid. Then I'm going to blend that out with Cocoa Bear. I kind of want to put a little bit more glitter, so I'm going to be adding some glitter glue on top of my lid. And we're going to see how this looks. This shimmer is from Micah Beauty, and it's in the color Ambiance. I'm going to blend the seams out a little bit. I really like how you can see like the dark underneath, but there's still a little bit of shimmer. I'm taking my Kat Von D Tattoo Liner, making a very thin line. Show them their new haircut. <laughs> it looks bad now. Maybe she brushed it the wrong way, but... You just got a new haircut. 
So I'm gonna go pop my lashes on off camera because that's really hard for me to do and I'm still practicing, so I'll be right back. So I just did my hair and it's setting right now, so I'm gonna do face makeup really quick and I should be done. I'm gonna be using my Milani Soleil bronzer and just bronzing up my face because it looks literally like a potato because I have like no contour on right now. The next one I'm gonna be using is Makeup Forever Pink Brown for my contour. This is just a little bit darker and it doesn't have any shimmer in it. So I'm gonna go over that bronzer and kind of deepen it up a little bit. And I'm gonna put this all over my forehead and around my jawline as well. Next for blush, I'm taking NARS's Outlaw and putting that on the apples of my cheek and kind of bringing it up to that contour. Then I'm gonna set my face with the Derma Blend Setting Spray. And this is the same brand that I use for the setting powder. They actually come in a bundle and you save a lot of money if you buy them both together. So I recommend doing that. You can find this at Macy's. I'm gonna go in with my Ofra Cosmetics Beverly Hills Highlighter. I'm just gonna place that right there. And I'm gonna blend it out with my fingers. It really helps to do the setting spray before because then it will kind of stick more. Ooh, okay. Now I'm gonna blend that out. Lastly, for my makeup, I'm going to be using this lip liner. It's from NYX in the color Cappuccino. This color is just like a dark brown. And it was really cheap, it was like $3. So that's the complete look. I still have to do my hair, so I'm gonna do that really fast. I hope you guys really enjoyed that video. I love how this look turned out, and I hope you guys do too. If you guys recreate this look, don't forget to tag me in any pictures. I would love to see them. That would literally make my heart so happy. Again, don't forget to check out the blog post in the description below. It will have direct links to every product I've mentioned. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys! Uh,